Hello and welcome to Team Atlantic channel. Today we're going to show you how to use a digital multimeter. For this case we chose a more advanced multimeter, Actacom M1060, which has many additional functions. Today is a tutorial on how to work with the multimeter. For that purpose we are not using the most basic DMM, but an advanced one, a multifunctional digital handheld multimeter Actacom M1060. Immediately after turning it on, we see a very large display full of different icons. There are mode symbols here – automatic and manual range selection, maximum, minimum and peak values, relative measurements and much more. An outstanding difference between the Actacom M1060 Multimere and many others is the presence of a graphic scale. The rate of change of the graphic scale is much faster than that of the digital display. Therefore, a graphic scale will much better show the rate of change of any measured parameter. We can say that the graphic scale works the same way as an analog dial multimeter. The graphic scale is convenient to use for assessing the stability of parameters and transient processes and tracking current or voltage surges. Let's take a closer look at two examples of using the graphic scale of our multimeter. The first example of using the graphic scale of the M1060 Professional Multimeter is to measure the illumination. To do this we will use a typical photoresistor and connect it to a multimeter. We set the resistance measurement mode with automatic selection of the measurement range. Next, we change the illumination of the photoresistor by hand. Here we see how quickly the graphic scale shows changes in the illumination by comparison the digital values change much slower. Let's look at the similar measurements using a simple multimeter. The result of the rate of change is not visible. The display of a simple multimeter doesn't keep up with the changes at all. The second example of using the graphic scale of the M1060 multimeter is measuring the current consumption of a microprocessor in Wi-Fi mode. In this example, we use an ESP32 module with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth interfaces. It is important to remember that any multimeter that measures current is connected through special current sockets and a common socket. Our multimeter has two sockets for measuring current. The first is for small currents, microamps and milliamps, and the second is for currents up to 10 amps. We connect our ESP32 module according to the diagram shown in the figure. We use a socket for low currents and a common socket. We turn on the multimeter in current measurement mode milliamps with automatic selection of the measurement range. We power up the microprocessor and observe current surges. Such current surges are the work of the microprocessor when transmitting data via Wi-Fi. We see how the graphic scale displays changes faster and faster, but the digital values are overwhelmed and don't have capacity to show these values. Now we can draw the first conclusion from everything we saw when choosing a multimeter if you are planning to work with microprocessors or study fast processes, you cannot purchase a multimeter without a graphic scale. Let's continue studying our M1060 multimeter. When measuring a current surge, we need to know the maximum current value of the microprocessor when transmitting data over Wi-Fi. To do this, we press the max min button and after a second we see this maximum value. The second press of the max min button shows the minimum current value for the measurement period. But these values are often not sufficient for real design. In a short peak with a duration of 1 to 5 milliseconds, the current can be significantly greater. For this measurement, we use the automatic measurement mode and the peak function. The measurement result shows what maximum current peak the power supply will have to produce to build a stable operating system with Wi-Fi mode. Based on the results of this episode, you can see how important it is to have a multimeter with a full set of measurements when designing a microprocessor system. The next interesting function of our professional M1060 multimeter is the simultaneous measurement of two quantities, for example voltage and frequency. Let's conduct a study of the simplest generator using logical elements. Its circuit is shown in the figure and we use a chip like SN74HC00.
We supply power to the assembled circuit and connect a multimeter to the generator output in AC voltage measurement mode. We set AC voltage value of 2.5 volts. Next, switch to frequency measurement mode and see the value of 123 Hz. Very fast and simple. We will check the measurement results using an oscilloscope. We connect it to the output of our generator and on the oscilloscope we see the same values, 2.5 volts in amplitude and a frequency of 123 Hz. There is so much to say about the Octacom M1060 multifunctional digital multimeter. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss our next video. And please tell us about your experience with multimeters in the comment section. Bye and see you later!